It's Matt Rich here for IFL TV at the Tower Hotel in London. We're just about to have the uh, prize fighter World Weights 4 weigh-in. I'm here with Danny Cassius Connor, the uh, prize fighter veteran, <laughs> <laughs> finalist from, uh, from the light World Weights a, a few prize fighters ago. Danny, what do you make of the draw? I think it's a wicked draw, mate, to be fair. Uh, it's like the perfect draw, isn't it? Everything's brilliant. You've got like Paddy Gallagher and um, who's he boxing? Paddy's fighting Eric. And I think that's, that's a really wicked fight. So, you know, who gets off first and who does what first. If Eric can implement that slick sort of style he's got or, you know, Paddy look, look, is looking like the danger man of the competition, the sort of Jenkins of this competition a bit. But um, I think Eric can do it. I think Eric can do it. I think people are well overlooking Eric and I think he's more than capable of doing it. You've got Dean Byrne against Douglas in the next fight. Douglas had a bit of, like, a few a little time out. Uh, Douglas had a little bit of time out. Good, good, good. Yeah, Douglas had a bit of time out, but um, I think that Dean Dean can definitely pull that off against him. He's more than capable. I've seen Dean. He's been at his best in the gym. He's razor sharp, and I think that he can he can pull that off against Douglas. You've got Garton and Eggington. Everyone's going for Eggington, but I just fancy Johnny to get on top of him and to you know exploit what what Sam Eggington's got. I think Sam keeps his hand left his lead hand low a bit. And I think that Johnny will find the holes in his defence and he's really busy, Johnny, and I think I'd pick Johnny to come over that. And then you've got Johnny Coyle versus Jason Cook. And I think people ain't ready for Johnny Coyle, mate. Trust me, that this kid is he's he's unbelievable. When he gets going, there's not a man in his competition that'll beat him. And I honestly think that Johnny is the dark horse of the competition and I think he, he could be the winner of this whole thing. That's my opinion. I'm a bit biased towards him and Dean Byrne obviously, but I think that one of them two would do it. I really do. Because you train with those two, don't you? Um, yeah. uh, and, and you must have seen a difference in the way they're training for, for this, for the different format that prize fighters in. Definitely. Like when uh, when Dean sort of come up, he was a bit stale, a bit cheesed off with how boxing was going. You seen a, a new man. He went out. To, we went out to Spain, and he was sparring out there with Emiliano Casal, who's uh, who's going to go and fight for the European title soon, right, John? Going to fight for the European title soon. He's a really good fighter, and Dean was more than holding his own with him. Johnny again, Johnny Coyle, he's another one. He comes to the gym and he won't necessarily live in the life properly, but then he comes to the gym and he sh he sh you, you wouldn't believe the change around. I thought Johnny was good before he joined us and now I've seen him up close and personal and I've seen what he can really do. He's unbelievable, he's bre like, it's breathtaking some of the stuff that he does in the gym and y y it's wicked for me to have them, to them people in the gym because I can only learn from them people, you know? <laughs> I saw. I said that you're a veteran at the start of this, uh, a prize fighter veteran at the start of this interview, and I saw um, you tweet in the week that it was one of the best nights of your life uh, fighting in that prize fight. What makes you say that? Tell you what, it's just it's unbelievable. Like the uh, the atmosphere on a night in your call, your call is like saying else, and you get you get a proper feel of how special it is. You know, you see people like Eddie, who's like the, who's the face of British boxing at the moment, really and truly. He's the lead man. <laughs> Barry's always there and you know Barry's been involved with the who's who's of boxing Matram's just a, a wicked thing and the whole night is just unbelievable it's, it's, it's like nothing else you know and it just brings out the best in everyone and it makes for a wicked night it's the, it's the best thing there is it even beats me winning the Southern Area title and that's my honest opinion being a part of the prize fighter when I got to get in it and the well or like well it's when he told me it was like Christmas do you know what I mean it's wicked and I said that to Johnny and Dean that they're, they're just not going to believe the atmosphere and the heat of it in there is, is something totally. If you haven't done it, you're not. You can't prepare yourself for it. And uh, I hear you're looking to uh, drop down in weight, possibly, and maybe even enter another prize fighter. Yeah, well, there's talk of a lightweight coming up, and uh, I'd love that. You know what I mean? I've had five, ten rounders and and the prize fighter over the past couple of years, so I qualify for it. You know, I'm always in good fights. I always bring. I always bring it to the ring, no matter what. Let myself down in my last couple of fights. But I'm back on April the 27th at your call. Got to win another title, and I'm going to come back with a bang. And I think Eddie would put. I think you know, hopefully Eddie would get me in there and stick me in the lightweights. Be brilliant if I could get in it. I'd love to be in it. Like I said, it's, it's the it's the best occasion that, that I've ever been involved in. And who, who wouldn't want to be in it? It's brilliant. And I mean, you're an outspoken character, Danny. You've always got something to say about <laughs> stuff. Um, Fox Groves, talk me through it. You know what? Um, before the Fox Groves first fight, I didn't really like George Groves, but then after you, how you like as a as a fighter, not as a person. But then, uh, you know, you can't argue with what you know. He'd done a really good job in that fight, but I just think that Carl is 
he's the. I honestly think Cole's on another level to George. No disrespect to George, I think he will get to where he needs to be at, at one time. But I think at the moment Cole's the man, and I think that Cole's just going to come with something totally different. I think he'll be a lot more switched on for this fight, and I think I think Cole will do the job again by stoppage or by points. So I just think I focus. Cole Froch is a really hard man to beat. I just think Froch, Froch, Froch edges it. Top man, Danny. I hope you enjoy it tomorrow night. See you soon. Yeah, see you tomorrow, mate. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you.